For more than 2,500 years, Sicily has been a center for Mediterranean viniculture. Today, Sicilian wines are hotter than ever, especially ones from Mount Etna. We feature two different ones between Randazzo and Castagnoli di Sicilia on the north side of Mount Etna. This area is dotted with small, medium and large Etna producers. Harvesting grapes in Sicily, and specifically Mount Etna, is no easy feat because of all the variables. Sicily is the region in Europe maybe uh, where you can find the biggest numbers of variables in viticulture. First, all over the world exist 12 different kinds of soil. In Sicily, Sicily is the place in Europe when you find the biggest number of them, seven different orders of soil. After you can have in Sicily, Marine viticulture, close to the sea, in the little highland, countryside, hillside viticulture, on clay soil, and mountain viticulture. Etna is an example. We were the first, uh, in, at the beginning of the 90s, the first big brand of Sicilian wine to challenge the, ma the mountain viticulture, and we decided to go on Etna, not just because it's a volcano. Uh, Etna is important because here the word volcanic soil takes uh, and other meanings for the different kind and the complexity of volcanic soil. But Etna, it's a mountain at very low latitude. We are cl very, very close to Africa. So this means that if we compare to mountain viticulture on the northern Italy, here we have specific and totally different kind of solar radiation. So your wine is extra, extra good. <laughs> it's particular, <laughs> it's, it's unique. We like to say that it's unique. So for those people, let's say in the United States or some of our fans are in Australia or Canada and they're sitting in their home having dinner with a glass of your wine, what do you want them to experience? I want them to experience uh, the garden of the Mediterranean Sea. So I think that every sip of a Sicilian wine uh, or one of my wine, they will uh, experience something uh, They will make them happy. Well, the meaning of the word Gaudensis, the name of the wines, it comes from Latin and means enjoy the life because usually you are going to drink sparkling wine uh, when you want to celebrate some important day. Let's we'll say. Yeah. 100% Nello Mascalese. Then Blanc de Blancs with Carricante, a Padosé with Nello Mascalese. It is notable that Fidiato also makes a light sparkling wine that is perfect for the summer. In fact, they are the largest producers of Etna sparkling wine in the region. Half million. Half million bottles yeah. in here. Yeah. Right now. Aging on haste of traditional method sparkling wine. What two do you recommend in wine? Uh, I will recommend first the, the Signum Etna uh, because uh, it's the it's a pre certified uh, Prefloxera wine and uh, it's something really unique because um, you know it's uh, an Etna wine so 100% of Nerello Mascalese but when you taste uh, you will feel that uh, it's uh, concentrated uh, it's more elegant than a normal Etna also uh, and the fact that the medium age of the vineyard are more than 150 years old, you know, that you are tasting something really particular. The other wine I will suggest will be a Nero Davola Harmonium, which is uh, a Nero Davola from the west side of Sicily. So you can taste a totally different shape and style of wine. And on the other side, Harmonium is a powerful, it's bolder wine, but at the same time is still elegant. They are both, uh, con we can consider both uh, a, a, a truly good example of a high quality wines from Sicily. Next, we head over to Alcantara. The company takes its name from the river on Etna. The name Alcantara means bridge in Arabic. The wines from here are not only delightful and easy to drink, but the labels are incredibly artistic and creative. The logo is Alcantara means in Arabic, uh, Ayal, the article of death, Cantara is the bridge. The woman is our logo. Over the woman there is this bridge, is the union of arts, poetry, wine. For this motive we call Alcantara. <laughs> and another motive, because uh, uh, the hair of this woman is uh, the river, uh, Alcantara River is near uh, our property. How did you come up with the names of the labels? Different. Uh, uh, poems, no? This area in particular uh, 
uh, is uh, <coughs> rich uh, of uh, minerals uh, in the in the soil uh, like uh, sulfur and we are uh, tall about 650 meters uh, on the sea level and uh, the the river uh, near uh, our uh, uh, plants give the give the water for our plants because we don't use irrigation for uh, our plants at no white doc 100% of caricante this wine has spent uh, one year uh, in uh, tank still what's the experience you want people to have when drinking your wine uh, about experience some emotion about uh, uh, um, about our wine uh, you can taste some piece of etna and um, some flavor some uh, minerals uh, notes uh, uh, white flowers like uh, um, like ginestra and uh, uh, you can say you can uh, f feel uh, our soil so which wines does he recommend Occhi de fiume or eyes inside the river caricante etna bianco luci luci another etna white both are full bodied very smooth a little bit of crispiness in there I would recommend this with fish for sure. For Etna Rosso, Kali recommends O Securo O Securo, dark in the dark. For example, this uh, sculpture is the There's even awesome. a very unique museum on the property with local artists, mm -hmm. plenty of cool so, labels, uh, bottles, and other items of interest curated yeah, from over 300 artists from all over Sicily. Also Look at that, Etna, the yeah. corks. Whether you're having a red or you're having a white wine, the wines from Etna are definitely upcoming and it makes me really, really happy. These guys work really hard. Ching ching to you guys. Ciao. Thank you for watching this video of You, Me and Sicily. Please hit the like and subscribe to this channel for more videos from and about Sicily. So